Okay, everybody, welcome back. You must be unburdened by what has been. What is it, James? How do you say it? We must be able to see what can be unburdened by what has been. I got to get that. I got to get that memorized. This clip uh, together we had at the Believer Summit has been seen well over 10 million times, James. I don't know if you know that. It's really yeah. going viral. I'm sure people are messaging you about it. It's really great. Play cut 76. Vice President Harris will say repeatedly, what is the quote? The quote is that we can see what can be unburdened by what has been. I can imagine what can be and be unburdened by what has been. You know? What can be unburdened by what has been? What can be unburdened by what has been? Is that word salad or Marxism? It's Marxism. That is, in fact, not at all word salad. It's a Marxist incantation, as a matter of fact. It's like a spell. Uh, so you can see the possibility of a world that's unburdened from its own history which is exactly what Mao Zedong did when he launched the campaign of smash the four olds, the four old characteristics of Chinese society. They were going to make a new China that was going to be unburdened by what had been in the past of China. This is what the Soviets, the Bolsheviks did when they took over power in Russia, is that they were going to make the new Russia. They're going to make the new man, as a matter of fact. People could become unburdened by what had, has been so that they could see what could possibly be in the terms of a socialist utopia. So. When she says that, I assume, given that her father was a Marxist, I assume she knows what she's saying, and I don't buy her idiot valley speak <laughs> shtick one bit. I think she's far more smart and far more savvy than conservatives have given her credit for, and she is an outright Marxist. It is very, very clear in her language, and that's what the Democrats want to nominate for president right now, which is kind of horrifying. James, do you think you fell out of a coconut tree? No, but I think that's a Marxist sentiment too, right? It's because the whole idea is of Marxism is, as Marx actually said himself that in his 18th premier of Louis Bonaparte, he said that, you know, men make their own historical conditions, but they don't make them as they please. They make them according to the historical conditions that are present in the system that they're in. And so he says that the weight of all of the past generations lives or, or haunts the, or weighs on, I think as it is, weighs on the, the brains of the living like a nightmare. And so all, falling out of a, you didn't fall out of a coconut tree means you didn't come from, you know, nowhere in the time that you're in, you came into a world that was built off of an entire historical tradition, an entire transformation of history. So you have to pick up where you are and go forward. The, what, everything the woman says almost is Marxist. Yeah, that famous coconut tree she's cackling into the mic says, what do you think you fell out of coconut tree? People exist in the context. Therefore, James, you're not a sovereign individual with your own agency and choices and action, that it's about deconstructing colonialism or getting rid of racism or white supremacy. Can you connect those dots, James? It's very, very important. Yeah, the, the, you are in this historical context that you find yourself in, what Marx called your historical conditions. Those mm -hmm. historical conditions are the product of the society, and they tend to brainwash people to reproduce them. But it's possible to wake up and to avoid your social production, as it's called. It's called the theory of social production or theory of social reproduction. You can avoid being... Uh, dragged through reproducing history generation after generation by awakening to the fact that there's an oppressor oppressed dynamic and you are part of that oppressed so you have an insight into how society is actually not for everybody it's not fair it's not socialist it denies our social nature or our anti-racist nature or our queer nature and you can actually get to work that's the phrase is do the work um, mm -hmm. which is the work, the same work that the hammer and sickle were supposed to do in, in Soviet Russia or in China. And you can do the work to transform society into a new way of being that will be, uh, you know, some socialist utopia. A uh, minute remaining, James, remind the audience how to find the film and then end the call to action, please. Yeah, the film is called Beneath Sheep's Clothing. The website for it is beneathsheepsclothing.movie, all written as one big word. It's on uh, Watch Salem Now presently as well so you can go get the films there uh, i encourage everybody to go see this i encourage you to not just watch it but share it on social media share it with a friend but also see if you can put together uh you know get some of your left-leaning or democrat friends to watch this because this isn't a question of left versus right this isn't a question of republican versus democrat this is america versus communism and we need to wake up as many people as we possibly can we're hearing from a lot of democrats and, and leftists traditionally right now who are saying wait a minute not communism is not good well they need to have the dots connected so, so show them the film 
James Lindsay, thank you so much. SalemNow.com. That was a great discussion. Thanks, man. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Charlie. Email is freedom at charliekirk.com. To repeat, if Kamala Harris, the current vice president, becomes, uh, becomes president, it will be the most advanced communism has ever come in the history of our country. Communism is not coming. Communism is here. She is a communist, and communism is on the ballot.